Yo, so we're back with another horror game video. I guess this video is going to be a bit on the longer side. It's not really a horror genre. It's kind of like a story horror genre, I guess you could say. So I was going on Roblox looking for different games to play, and I stumbled upon this certain game called Onk Rack. And I read the description. Nothing kills a girl faster than her own head. So I did some more exploring because I was interested. I found the creator's uh, Roblox account and then I did some digging myself on the backstories of these games because these games are actually like, they're all connected to one story. So I did some exploring and I actually got in contact with the creator. Um, as you can see, it's just a few hours ago. I questioned him asking what order I should play these games in. And he responded very quickly, actually. If you want to play in chronological order, the order of the games I'd recommend are Memoria, Rejected Realism, Scopophobia, White Willows, Orichi Yuki, and Ankarak. A lot of people start off with Scopophobia because it's the most popular, and that's actually how I found the, these um, this little batch of games in the first place. And while it's a good way to get you started in the dramatic action, Memoria and Rejected Realism offer good backstory. Ultimately, you can decide for yourself what order you play in. But one thing I definitely recommend is playing Ankarak last because it's the finale of the series, and playing the other games first will help you understand it better. Good luck, and thank you for taking an interest in my games. So... I did some more digging to get what the story is actually about before going into this. A very basic explanation is that the story is about the main character, Rebecca, also called Rikwa, who develops delusions of an angel slash godly like figure named Eli to cope with the troubled home and bullying at school. The game focuses mainly on Rebecca's bad mental state, her relationships, the complex imaginary world she creates, example, Orochi Yuki, and how everything pushes her to commit dire actions. So once again, thank you Rikwa for giving me some more backstory about the games, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. So the first game we're in is titled Memoria, and honestly, looks pretty peaceful here. The walking animation is a little bit shaky. Let's see what we got here. We got a little dome, Memoria. Building here with Japanese letters and a tree. Not sure what these mean, but... Oh. So it looks like we're in a school, obviously. Got a little basketball game going on, first quarter. A lot of people watching this. Wait, are these all my friends list? Are these people from my friends list? Some of these people look... Okay, never mind. I was just seeing things, but some of them had very similar avatars to the ones that were on my friends list. I'm assuming... We go to one of these exit teleporters, maybe? Maybe this is a teleporter? Not too sure. Yep. And we're back in Memoria. Okay. So what if I try going to the left door? Because there's currently two doors to go through. Um, if I try going through this one, where will it take me? We have a different one. And I'm assuming we're in the body of Rebecca now. Looks like we're in a little little house right now. Time to get ready for school. Alright, well I guess we have to go leave, right? Where do we leave? Rise and shine, another day. Time to get ready for school. This is my mom. You like? Yes. Honestly, this room looks pretty cool. I love my room. I mean, I would be really happy if my room was this big. My room is the greaterest. <laughs> I have so many books. Oh, this one is my favorite. Where? Which book is your favorite? Oh, we're in the seat. You are special. Oh, I don't really like those drawings. So many great things. Little Alice in Wonderland poster. I am blessed. Oh no. That's my father. I don't know if he's happy. Oh god. I guess it's time for school. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting chills right now. I don't want to go. The other kids are mean. 
but my father is angry and he's scary when he's angry so this is obviously some sort of domestic abuse in the household can we leave now no we can't oh thoughts they won't leave me alone have you ever felt worthless have you ever felt done still can't leave the room yet as if there is nothing here for you anymore that you simply don't belong in this world can't even look out the windows they're barricaded off it looks like that you simply don't fit in and that there's simply no purpose of you being here so you just quit right no I would not quit you just want to end so this person Rebecca does she she like I don't want to say the word especially because of YouTube but you're too afraid to so end obviously means if, if you have a pretty a pretty good knowledge of what that means or am I I mean I've thought about it but would I ever really act on it oh it looks like the room's getting darker the room is getting way too dark for my own liking. You are ugly. I am. You are worthless. You'll never be good enough. Go away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. You should go die. Nobody likes you. You deserve to die. Oh my gosh. What the hell is going on? I just got goosebumps all over my body. What is going on? My apologies. Things got out of hand. I don't know if you can just go on and basically ignore what just happened. I think... I think I'll go now. Oh god. Can we go through the door now? Nope. Hanging. <laughs> What do I even do here? Do I type in something? Oh. It is alright, child. Calm down. I'm here for you now. Everything is going to be fine. Just rely on me. I will take care of you now. See? Look. Everything is much more calmer. You've been tired for a long time. I could tell. But I'm here for you now. I'll take care of you. Here, put on your scarf. It will cover the marks. Well, that's not very good. There are marks from, like, domestic abuse. Just calm down and relax your breathing. Just listen to me. And never leave me. You will stay next to me forever. Semper Fidelis. I'm not sure what that means. It's probably some type of code. From now on, I want you to listen to me only. Don't trust other people. Other people want nothing but to hurt you. I will protect you forever. Now. Do as I say. This seems pretty manipulative. And we're back in Memoria. I feel like I did something wrong when I went to the right side. There's surely something that Okay, we're back in the basketball court. So, oh, there's a door here. I didn't even realize there's a door here. Can I go through it? Oh, here we go.
Okay. I don't like this at all. Basketball. So she's hiding. Wait, this person's walking over here now. What if I go back in? It's like all different now. Everyone's shifted around. So if I try to walk out through here, what happens? Anything? We're back in Memoria. I'm assuming that's the first part. So what I'm getting from the beginning of this story is that this person named Rebecca is in a domestic abuse with her father and she is basically a social reject like from other people because she said that everyone was mean to her so I'm assuming she gets made fun of at school for different reasons and she has someone in her head that is telling her to not interact with those people at all whatsoever and honestly it seems pretty manipulative because judging by what it was saying it was saying things like do as I say don't listen to the other people they only hurt you and just things along that sort of stuff so that concludes the first part of the story Memoria and yeah let's go ahead and move on to the second part so now we're in a game for the next part titled Rejected Realism so we go in here oh, we're getting a whole new look at the whole house itself Got a little radio going on with some music. Some stairs up here. I'm assuming this is her parents' room. What does this say right here? Dear friend, long time no see. It has been a while, hasn't it? I don't believe we have talked since I moved to the United States with Aiden. It is very different here. Our lives have changed drastically since moving. At first we were not well off. We got a dingy apartment in the inner city. Our neighbors did not want me in the country and we had no money. But Aiden and I worked so hard to succeed, and we did. Aiden now has a secure job as a history teacher at a high school. My career as a writer has taken off since immigrating. A novel taking place in Edo, Japan was a good idea. This is a great opportunity. Life has been good to us. 14 years ago, our very own bundle of joy entered our lives. We call her Rebecca. Not a Japanese name, I know. Having a bicultural child is interesting. She has, however, been a cause of concern. Perhaps the American and Japanese cultures are incompatible? I don't know. But she has been causing trouble in school. Our child is very imaginative. Being creative and having your own imaginary friends is normal for a child. But she is 14 and acts like she is 5. I'm concerned for her mental and social development. I hope this behavior will be corrected soon. Anyways, how are you? How has life been to you? Has anything big happened? How is your job? It has been so long since we have talked to each other. I want to know. I hope to hear from you soon. Hoping you are well. Mio Akita. I'm assuming this game, or this part of the story, is just to get more insight on what's going on right now. Nothing really seems too out of the ordinary here. Can't go in here. So that door's locked. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not really too sure what's what's going on here, but um that's the second part of the story. Rejected realism, and we're gonna be moving on to the third part of this story. So now we're moving on to the most popular one, and the one that originally got me curious about this whole bundle of games itself scopophobia i'm assuming we just keep walking down this hallway i hate my job deal with it don't think we can go through any of those doors i don't see why we would be able to stairs in a bathroom nope can't go in there hopefully there's no jump scares i really hope there's no jump scares where is my coffee just a bunch of rooms Reading takes you on the greatest adventures, or on the worst, sometimes. <laughs> Got some light right here. I'm assuming, we, do we go in here? Oh, oh gosh. What's going on? What is going on? Oh, are we getting bullied right now? This person has a camera. Oh, yep. Everything hurts. Why is she taking pictures of me? Stop it, please.
What is that red thing? Oh, it's words. You want them out of their life. All they have done is cause you pain. Why don't you get rid of them? Just call my name. Call my name. Oh, no. My gosh. They're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. So this is Eli. Eli, why did you do this? Why? Why weren't you there for me? Please. Please just kill me now. I can't handle being alive anymore. End this now. That's pretty disturbing. And now we just got teleported. Awaken, my child. Where am I, Eli? I have brought you to the bridge between worlds. There is something I wish to show you. Where are we going, Eli? Come, child. Follow me. Oh, gosh. This place is absolutely huge. I'm going to show you a world I have built for you. The real world has been far too cold. Therefore, I shall make a new world, only for you. There, you will be peaceful, perfect, and protected. Oh, I see someone in the distance. No other thing shall harm you. Come with me, child. To the land of the Ochiro Yuki. There's two figures in front of me right now. Oh, it's Re oh, it's just one. It's Rebecca. Oh, she's crying. Oh. Okay. I don't really want to be in that position. I don't want to be in. So we're probably gonna get teleported to another world. I'm assuming. And now we're in the land of snow, this strange, strange world I find myself in. I ask myself, am I really safe now? My life, rotten pain and torture. Never have I had a happy day. In this strange yet peaceful world I find myself in, I ask myself, am I really safe now? Can I really rest here? I'm so tired, so fatigued, so drained. Is it really all over now? This is the new world I have made for you. Here, the snow forever falls and the cherry blossoms are ever blooming. There is no pain and no sadness in this world. Although I control everything of this world, I give it to you, my little follower. Pray to me and worship every day, and I shall grant all your wishes. So this is very manipulative, very, very manipulative. Follow me dutifully, and no harm shall come to you. This is a world for you and you alone. My gift to you for being such a magnificent underling. Don't you enjoy it, my child? Yes, Eli. Throw a coin and make a wish. Dental of reality brings sweet bliss. Not really sure where we're supposed to find a coin. I might just be overthinking it like usual, but there's a well right there. Can't even walk in any of these doors, though. Yeah, I can't walk in any of these doors. What about the well? Wait, a well? Wait, 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 wait. Can I go in it? Doesn't seem like it. What about the lever? Oh. 
Okay, okay. Okay, there's the key. Perfect. I did not expect that to work. Honestly, I really didn't. <laughs> Time to see what's behind this door, I guess. Oh, it's the figure. Oh. That literally just scared me so insanely badly. I have no clue what just happened. There's a bridge here now, though. I do not like where this is going at all. And there's just a new path now. And there's that figure again. Oh, it's Rebecca. Looks like a spirit, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eli is my goddess, my savior. I owe my life to her fully. I shall worship her forever. Eli, may I stay here forever? Eli? No. No? Why not? You are not ready, child. What do you mean, Eli? You have not fully accepted me into your heart. Part of you still lies in the real world. I cannot accept you into this world. Not until you realize how truly cold the real world is. Eli, don't abandon me. Eli, please. Oh, oh this is not good. I wonder if this is based on, like, a real-life story. Police sirens. White Willows. This is, this is the next game he was talking about. We just immediately got taken straight to it. Oh, no. We're in a doctor's office? What's going on here? Is she being interrogated? Police sirens. Interrogation. Does she, she committed a crime. There's no way. Entry, one. Name of patient, Rebecca Langley. Name of mother, Mia Langley. Name of father, Aiden Langley. Number, date, she was born on 2003. Current date, the 18th of December of 20-something. Ethnicity, half Japanese, half white. Background. This patient was admitted after being found inside a classroom at her school, bloodied with the bodies of four of her classmates nearby. The patient is currently under a criminal investigation by authorities for possible murder and should be regarded as potentially very dangerous as a result. Exercise caution. On admittance, the patient showed signs of extreme paranoia and anxiety or apprehension. The patient was withdrawn and seemingly unaware of her surroundings, mumbling phrases to herself such as, I'm sorry, and take me back. But upon grabbing her, the patient began screaming and struggling. On the way to the institution, the patient displayed violent and dangerous behavior both to herself and others, which resulted in constrainment. The patient seems to swing back and forth between these two behaviors. The patient exhibits signs of schizophrenia, having auditory and visual hallucinations, and is delusional. Panic attacks are common with this patient. Upon an attack, she becomes unresponsive to those around her and begins screaming, murmuring, and thrashing. During the attacks, it is best to restrain her as to prevent her from doing harm to herself. The patient becomes mute upon interrogation and refuses to comply with authorities. So she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. I'm assuming we go through this door right here. I'm trying to fight. Delusions. Doctor? Good afternoon, Miss Aikida. So this is the mother. Good afternoon. How is my daughter? I am afraid she is not well. What do you mean? How bad is it? She appears to have delusions. Delusions? Has she ever in the past appeared to see things? Oh, my voice cracked. Oh, <laughs> my voice cracked. Yes. Ever since middle school, she has been talking to nothing. I see. Has it always been this bad? No. It seemed to have worsened with time. 
But doctor, do you really think that my daughter... No, I do not think your daughter is a murderer. Thank goodness. But your daughter does have some rather obvious mental issues. Mrs. Akita, your daughter has schizophrenia. What is wrong with her? It is very serious. She has delusions, disorganized thought and speech, and mild catatonia. She has false beliefs and displays self-aggressive behavior. We must force feed her because she will not eat. But it is alright. We assure you here at White Willow Mental Hospital will take care of your daughter. Oh my, my daughter. It will be alright. Parents blame your daughter for the deaths of their children. I think that was a typo. Parents, wait. I suggest you go home and rest. It must be truly hard. I recommend you go home and take care of yourself. Yes, I will. Thank you. Happy holidays, doctor. So that's the end of this little conversation. Can we go through any of these doors? Oh, we can. So this is like... So that's a mentally insane person. This is a doctor right here as well. Paper on the ground, but I can't read it. What about this door right here? Seems like it's just the same thing in each and every one of these rooms. This person, that person's jailed up. We got a little police. Yeah, we have a police officer right here. What? Quote unquote, we will take care of your daughter. What do you make of it, doctor? Once she gets charged with murder, she will spend the rest of her life in a cage like she is now. You think she did it? Definitely. It is a murderer. She is also a threat to herself. She wounds herself. I could care less what it does. Keep it isolated. So this doctor's obviously not in favor of keeping this person safe. And how is she to get better and become normal again like that? There is no hope for her. She is already dead. I want to read this again. I want to try to read this. The paper. Oh, great. I couldn't even read it, bro. What do you think of this so-called Eli? Imaginary. A false being she created inside her head to cope with her mental defections. I do not think Eli is a coping mechanism. This Eli appears to be abusive to the child. The child is dead. So they all think she's just completely like just empty and dead inside. The child is dead. Why are they repeating it? It is certainly something. I wish I could read the paper again, but I, I just, I can't. I can't get to it. I can't seem to get to it. I guess the only thing we can really do is, oh. Why have you abandoned me? So we're in the view of Rebecca now. Why can't I feel your presence anymore? Why have you abandoned me? So this is after Eli, so-called curer, or her, her imaginary angel, just abandoned her. That's what happened in the, um, the Cherry Blossom game. Please save me. Oh, it's starting to get red. Oh, this is Eli, please. Eli, please get me out of here. It's becoming more and more red. Why won't you respond? Eli, why won't you respond? Eli. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh my gosh. What is even going on anymore? She's having like a full on mental breakdown. What now? What do I do? Oh. What is going on, bro? This is Eli right here, I'm assuming. Bro, what is going on, man? I just, I don't understand. The chat is going absolutely crazy, bro. I'm getting out of here, bro. I'm getting out of here before something bad happens. The rescue. So, this is the end of the first part of the video. I didn't really want the video to be exceptionally long, but trust me guys, the second part will be much better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like or even subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.